and welcome to episode 8 of our 3D mitered granny skate square <laughs> crochet blanket. <laughs> I still can't say it in one go. <laughs> and I've tried a lot of people, <laughs> I've deleted myself so many times, so it's just got to stay there, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's made me forget where we are now. Right, I'm Michelle and this is my Woolly Wumpkins channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe because uh, if you're anything as forgetful as me, <laughs> You won't buy me again. <laughs> and we want to make this blanket. It's a really lovely blanket. In fact, we've only got one more mitre section to do. And that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we talk about that, let's have a look at what we did yesterday. And as ever, here is what it would look like if you'd got the 12 squares completed. And you can see this is this blanket's almost making itself now. <laughs> But there we go let's go on now we're gonna do our final mitre row and we're going to use our navy again so if you're confident just please carry on and crochet but if not I'm gonna just switch around and work with you this is so exciting to be this close to the end of the project so again, oh, yep, see, we have to check that our original square is right side facing. But as you can see, this one isn't, so we got to turn it around. There we go. Now we have the right side facing, and we pick up this corner, and this is where we're going to jump in and put our hook through, pick up our new yarn, our navy, and we're going to work just one round, one mitre row of the navy. So we start with our three chains and then we're going to treble. And we're going to treble again to make our cluster. And then off we go. Oops. I'm getting quite excited by how close we are to the end of this project. I'm a bit quiet because I'm <laughs> thinking about I'm act well I'm actually thinking about wrapping up my new baby grandson in this blanket. It's gonna be ready just in time to welcome him home, give him a cutch and wrap him up. Oh, dropped it. Wrap him up in this lovely crochet blanket. So I'm sitting here as well thinking about um, 
the other wool shows that I usually attend. So usually in October we have the West Wales Wool Show. We're still not quite sure what's happening there yet. Um, if things stay as they are, then that will be going ahead, I would imagine, because although Wales hasn't yet lifted all of the COVID restrictions, they seem to follow England at about uh, three, month, three months later. So we've got three months to, to play with. And then in April of next year, we'll have the Wonderwall Wales, which we definitely want to be a part of. We live in times, aren't we, that they can just change within moments. So Let's hope for the best, prepare for the best, and endure the worst, eh? <laughs> Coming up to this corner now. Oop, did I drop it? No, not quite. <laughs> This yarn is quite awkward to see. My sight's not the best. So we've just done our two change to turn the corner. And we'll turn the corner and do our three trebles. As you can see, these rows are taking quite a while now. But this is the very last mitre row that we're going to be working on this particular square. Obviously we have to do it 11 times more on the other squares. But we just focus on one square at a time, eh? Do, 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 do. Am I getting too far away from the camera? Let's scooch over. <laughs> Cassie! Yes. She'll come skipping up now. I can hear you when I'm. T oh, I just broke the yarn, and I'm videoing. She can't hear me though, so she's coming up. I said I can hear you. She's the window. <laughs> if you feel the need to. Um, basically. Yes. I just undid a few of the trebles and tied a knot in the yarn. And I'm just going to crochet the ends of the yarn like this. Once I've washed and blocked it, anything that's sticking out, I'll just snip off. That's a remote control car you might be able to hear in the background. 
my family making the most of the uh, dry weather and the sunny days. The end is in sight. Here we go. Okay, and that is the end. Let's just break the yarn. That is the end of our mitered rose sections. Yay! Oh, so let's pop this on here so we can see where we are. Yes, we're there. We did it. We only went and did it. Yes, we did. So now all we have to do is get our turquoise and go around all four sides. That will be in the next episode. So I can't wait to see you there as we work our final round of crochet on our squid. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.